Hello, big beautiful world. So, as you all know, or you should know, or you must know, or you know, all of that jazz. Uh, Red Wing have been putting out a lot of the, 90, the US 1935 airfields over the past couple of weeks. I only got around to purchasing a couple today. I purchased a few actually um, to build up the collection. Curiously, the Lakehurst, Manchester. Uh, airfield isn't there yet with the Zeppelin. I suspect I'll release that as a package. So we're taking up, we're going up out of Cleveland, KDCE today, and we're taking up this little beastie, which of course you gotta love FS Realistic Pro. Uh, this is from Rara Arvis, it's just dropped up on Just Flight, I think. Uh, about 20 bucks US, I'm about 32 bucks Oz. Uh, yeah, so we're. I've, I love it. It's, you know, it's somewhere between what Got Friends are doing and the, um, and of course the old uh, Sierra Autogyro from the 1930s. Look, oh, look at that cat though. Look at that cat. That's a cool cat. I know we've got the free Canso up in, um, up in, uh, from the French crew, which is really super cool to get about him with the full interior and everything. But, I long for the day where we get a beautifully 4K rendering of uh, beautiful 4K rendering of the um, of the uh, cat. It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. Look, shut me up. Let's get up into the air and see how we fly. I, I'm, I've got no idea about this, so you know, could truly fall on my ass with this. Let's have a look. Alright, now I have no idea about it, so we've got a GPS which is always very convenient. There is a manual with it. Uh, this is the first Rara Arvis. I know they put out the Zippy. I know they used to have the old FSX stuff as well. Interior looks good. Uh, you get 21 liveries, liveries with it. It's pretty darn good, so open it. Yep, cool. I imagine we're going to need some petroleum for this. Clear prop! Correct, mag, spats, we'll leave all the good things as is, GPS, ra rah, rah. Okay, so let's shut that up. And what about, what about, what does this one do? Okay, comms, lovely, 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 lovely. You know, for the sake of uh, doing the right thing here. Yeah, cool. Won't get too hung up on that. Now, I've never flown an auto gyro. I mean, I'm crapping rotor craft in the best of times. But, um, so, mixture. All good throttle. Yep, lovely. So we've got our stock of six, which is nice. Which is nice. What else can you tell me about yourself, youngster? Whilst we're getting the job review underway. Oh, that's interesting. It disappears. Alright, cool. Let's have a look down there. Probably just the weights and so on and so forth. Yep, we're good on the rudders. Let's try it. See if, uh, see if she kicks off. Well, the first thing to notice, it's a really nice note. That's a really sweet sounding engine. Very interesting the way, uh, for some reason, after the last update, I've had a few hidden wackies. I've had to shuffle out my old community folder a few times and do other things, but now the happy eye tracker is starting to behave a bit weird after the last update. Could be a number of things. Look, let's see how it behaves. We'll get up into the air, and I'll babble on from there, I think. Very, uh, very interesting layout, so bit of a wind up today, bit of a gust up. Let's bring her across. In fact, it's an auto gyro. Theoretically, we should be able to do just this. This thing 
It is a one-off. In spite of the fact that it looks like a, a Got Friends physics crusher, it is a one-off in 2015. I don't know much about it. Rotec, 9 sill radial on the dock. Let's have a look around the front there. Texturing is really sweet. I think the cowling opens for a vehicle engine. So on and so forth. Very playful. As one would expect somewhere between a chopper and a fixed wing. Let's have a look at how good Red Wing have done the Cleveland. And of course I can't attest to how good the Cleveland, Cleveland um, the scenery is. I, you could be bang on to watch the others. I'm just glad they're doing it. Little by little we build up this kind of golden wing to your uh, world. Okay, it looks like the, I would venture to say they introduced this themselves. Very, very cool. I'm not sure about the building, but very, very sweet. Yeah, that looks lovely. Um, so, well, hey, what's going on? So we hit a gusty bump there. I, I have bought, I have bought the, uh, the USA 1935, I have bought Cleveland, uh, Washington Hoover, Porter, a few others besides, and I'll be trialling them in time. I've grabbed the canoe, I did a video the other day, I was talking about the canoe. One of the, um, the Got Friends canoe, the 3 b all of you guys know about it. My golly, this does look impressive. I love the 1935 scenery. I didn't think I would. I thought, oh, it didn't miss. But, um, no, they've done a lovely job just as they have with the Super Connie. And technically, 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 if we're going to be really pedantic, we should have flown this out of the Friedrich stuff. I mean, if it's going to be really pedantic. We shouldn't be flying at all in this 1935 thing. But this actually debuted at the 1930, uh, 19, uh, shut up, shut me up, here. the 2015 Friedrichs Harpen Air Show. Ah, uh, the old time buildings, the old time sodium lamp floodlights. Look at this. This is just lovely. Passenger terminal. So this is Cleveland. So what does this sucker do? Let's have a look. We're up at around a grand. I feel like um, the villain in original Hitchcock film but the 39 steps back in the 1930s because that was the only movie I know actually to date to introduce a oh this is great uh, a, a auto gyro only film I can think of uh, off the top of my head to have, to have an auto gyro on it Robert Donut Madeline no, I forget her name Madeline um, 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 um. Madeline Powell. Good flick. Still a great flick. And it has an auto gyro on it. So, if you're a movie lover, get ahead and watch Alfred Hitchcock's 39 Steps. The scene in the Highlands of the auto gyro chasing them down. Kind of precursor to what he later did with uh, North by Northwest. With the crop duster. These, uh, these, um, 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 these 1935, okay, so it's an air, oh, beautiful, so it's an air show thing. All right, well, let's do it. Uh, these 1935 
scenery. Uh, the pieces range from about $7.50 odds to about 15 bucks odds. So I'm not sure what the going price is for scenery a lot of the time now, but um, I like it. I think you get bang for the buck out of these puppies. Again, especially if you're into creating this bygone era type look. Uh, there's Liga uh, LaGuardia, there's a whole bunch of them. You'll be able to get up there and check them out. I am, I know I'm going to kill it by doing this. Oh, one thing I did want to mention is I understand that um, Red Wings have been working on, amongst their other things, they've been working on the Latte where 631, the big six engine seaplane. Massive, massive, bigger than the uh, Spruce Goose. But um, I'm not sure if Blue Mesh have taken over it because I understand that's going to be a, a legitimate local legends release or something like that. Flying legends release from, with one of the Microsoft updates. So it's going to be interesting if Blue Mesh is working in, I believe they're both French firms anyway. And for anyone who's got the, uh, the Blue Mesh affair, the, the Pocon, a great, it's still a, a grand aircraft to get around in. So I don't know if they've partnered up or if they're working separately. I like to think they've partnered up because they've got very similar sensibilities. And they've got both similar taste, uh, aesthetics, and an eye for the detail at the, at the time. So, anyway, stuff a little bit. Before I down there, love it, love it. This thing is maneuverable as hell, as you can see. Look at Let's give ourselves a bit of altitude. I want to see, I don't, I've never seen an uh, auto gyro do this. Let's just take, take her up gently. I must admit also, okay, so yeah, so the Latte uh 631 will be released. And interestingly, hopefully in conjunction with both, uh, with both uh, Blue Mesh, and Red Wing. Now that being said, um, I'm not sure what the USA pack for this 1935 stuff does. I haven't had it flown around New York yet or anything, or Hollywood, or I think it's got the old Hollywood land sign up there, so obviously takes it back to another era. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Let's do it. It even be done. Well, colour me impressed. There you go. So, as you can see from the graphics on this, there are others. It's um, I'm not sure if there's actually a clutch to engage the prop or if it's just free floating. I believe it's free floating. Yeah, still looks a little rough, but I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. This is good, yeah, 32 bucks. I will grab the Alouette. I see that the uh, power who's done the Alouette. What are you doing on the roof? Get off the bloody air for your crazy cats. Turn on a six minutes, people. Turn on a six minutes. No significant frame rate hits for any of the above, not for the, this uh, RAS Bulldog, nor for the, um, nor for the 1935 centering. I half said something, didn't I? I forget what it is. That's absolutely fine. That's alright, for the company, or one, one or the other. Uh, so the canoe from God Friends, a lot of fun. Uh, anything else I have to think of? Probably not. Happy to leave it at that. 
yeah, it is. I do hope. I, it is my it is my personal desire that if and when they get around the Red Wings crew get around to releasing the uh, cat, look at that crew Catalina, get around to releasing the Zeppelin, they'll probably throw in the Lake Coast Manchester scenery for that. I think that's what I was saying. Something about the the USA scenery itself. Uh, I'm not sure what it actually includes, but I for one. I'm grateful. Okay, let's see how it goes to suck it down. Theoretically, it should be a dollar, but you know what I'm like, it's pretty practicing. Alright, come on, Bubba. Funk you down, see how we go. Come on, kiddo. Wow. Yeah, okay, so the ground effect, the whole, uh, what is it? Vortices effect? Whatever it's called. <laughs> it's still coming down. There we go. Come on, kid. Gentle as a lamb. That's kind of fantastic, really. Well, by golly, I for one am impressed. I love saying I for one. Alright, big beautiful world. I don't know if I've got a lot else to rave on about, but I just wanted to get this up in the air. So, uh, for any of you cats interested, I can highly re recommend it. There we go, there's a bit of an anomaly. <laughs> Again, I can live with that as well. Uh, kill out the mixture. What do we got? And... Knock everything off. Oh, actually, let's have a look while we're here. What am I doing? So it's interesting that when you go to one of the presets here, it automatically throws up the, uh, the GPS. Let's have a look here. While we're at it, let's have a look at the decals. Like I said, oh, there we go. Some of, the, some of the racing decals. It's pretty snazzy, isn't it? Let's, uh, can we walk towards, actually, you know what, let us, I want to see if there's a way to do, to do it, um, to open the cowling yarn, it's really actually, really kind of nice detail, oh, sorry, clear, around the radial, but I thought there was a way to do it, so this is the Amelia livery, which is, in case you didn't, uh, pick up on that. Now, GPS, so let's have a squeeze. Interesting. Interesting, for some reason the GPS isn't kicking in. Okay, not particularly hard. Don't know how far I'd use it with the GPS anyway, but, uh -huh. now do we even have a handbrake on this? Doesn't look like it. I'm just gonna go into FS3 realistic mode again for a moment which is anything but some days, but that's all good. I thought there was something in here. Let's just check for oil leaks and so on while we're down here. <laughs> okay, bit of a concern. That isn't me. All right, that's, uh, that's a glitch. The verge is on cute. Look, big beautiful world, I will be showing some more of these 1935 airfields in coming days. I uh, hope you're having a fantastic day, fantastic weekend. Uh, get on with the flight simming, shut up, stop looking at YouTube videos. Go, get a life. Love ya, see ya.